record. No, I won't say where. Yeah, it's let's, recording. Let's talk about it. Okay. Ah! Just thought we can cut all of this. Whoa. Ah! Lene! Hi, we are the Russian Mafia um, Challenge Week group. Um, I think you need to talk louder. Uh, we are in Phuket. Why do they need to know this though? Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're gonna tell you about the cooking class we went to. It was called Pumps Cooking Class and um. Pumps Cooking Class at Pumps. Oh yeah, because she's Thai. Pumps okay. Cooking Class and um, in total we we could try 12 dishes, uh, learn to cook 12 dishes because um, each of us got to choose three. Yeah, three so each. that was pretty good and um, we got to learn a lot about like the spices and... And Thai culture. And Thai culture. Yeah, yeah. and herbs that they... Yeah, you grate use. like this and then back to the heart and vice versa and how it worked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, in Thai cooking there's like four main things. Like they're sweet, sour, salty, and spicy. spicy. Yeah. I forgot the one, what they call it <laughs> Thai. But then let me just check if it's recording. <laughs> we, do, we do get a book each. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and we got, um, we had like a key which showed us how the names of dishes actually correspond to their flavor. So yeah, it was pretty interesting and I think we learned a lot because not only about cooking but about culture and life in Thailand yeah, and, and the food. We learned a lot of, about cooking. I even thought of uh, opening a restaurant back in Singapore because I was that good at cooking. Oh, God. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you guys want to move on to the next activity? Yeah, sure. um, nice surfing. We did surfing oh, yeah. in uh, Patong Beach. It was pretty good, but on the first day... Um, first day, uh, not everyone managed to get up. I think only Kevin managed to I did. stand. Oh, I yeah, did. Sarah. It's okay, almost all of us managed to get up. It doesn't matter, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who. Um, but um, yeah, after some guidance and, and help from a professional. No. From a teacher. <laughs> so professional. Um, uh, uh, at the end of the first day, we managed to, like, all of us managed to get up. We just said we didn't manage to get up. Almost By the end of the second of day, you mean we all managed okay. to get yeah, up. It doesn't matter, we did the activity, yeah, we did surfing, so that's good. It was really fun, yeah. because uh, what, we'd never done it before. Most yeah, of us had never done it before. And it was thrilling. I thought surfing was always going sideways, but... We, what we did, because we were novice, um, we went forward. I thought, no, yeah, I, no, you I, thought you, I thought, you know, you know the surfing, you, you go right sideways, right? Yeah, Checking yeah. Away. Still like soul like surfer. Yeah, I know, but you, yeah, but you go straight for hours. Oh, you went straight. oh okay, okay. You know okay, what okay. I mean? Yeah. I, thought you, I thought you meant you stood straight. And surfing, yeah. like, you have to balance really well, which I don't do very well. So it yeah, was she a little balance challenging. Just lying on the board. <laughs> but I could stand up after like 10 minutes. And I sprained my ankle twice. That's with a twice. guidance of a teacher. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, and then the next... This, basically, what the teacher did was he taught us how to surf, but more importantly, he ho 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 helped yeah. the, the board for us so we could catch the wave and we... Yeah, it was pretty professional, I think. Um, anyways... Um, and the next thing we did was... Volunteer service, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, service. Our service. Uh, um, so we did service with a foundation called Phuket has been good to us. Yeah. Yeah, and so basically, uh, we help out this yeah, this school. school. Yeah. I'm just checking. Okay. Yeah, we help out. We helped out in a school in Kamala. Called. Oh, go Raja Prad. Jenna Girls School. Raja Praja New Girls School. Yeah, was yeah. Just, the it's name was longer school. than Danny Chan's um, surname, so I can't really not pronounce it. It's about the same. They're they're equally hard to pronounce. It, no, I could pronounce their okay, name. Okay, anyway, it was a school. school. It was a, it's a school built after the tsunami in two thousand and four, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the tsunami. Oh, tsunami. The tsunami in 2004 <laughs> that destroyed lots of houses, schools, and lives. Um, and the school basically runs on uh, what's the word? Donation. donations. Donations. Um, 
What did we do there, Kevin? Oh, on the first day of service, we went to check out this thing called the Coconut Club, and then... It's like an after-school activity, uh, right? Yeah, Coconut Club, we checked it out, and then we went back to the office, or did we do No, something? actually, we sorted out some of like the stuff oh, in yeah, the Coconut sorted, Club, because yeah. they're moving um, from the Coconut Room to a smaller room, which is, I guess, bad for the school, because they're... They they're constantly expanding and they um, they're looking for a new space to have more activities and so on. So um, yeah, we sorted some stuff there and then we met went back to the office and sorted out the donations like bed sheets and stuff. And yeah, some ropes, bathrooms, yeah, and, and towels. Yeah, donations from yeah, basically some hotels nearby. Yeah, because some of these hotels they they give all these donations, they, but then some of them have like big holes and stuff, and then this um, organization doesn't want to. Like, Give like, like um, bed sheets with holes to kids, so we had to kind of sort them, sort them out, and then um, the, the following days we kind of moved things from that big coconut club to a small, the smaller coconut club, which was very challenging. Which was very challenging because we had to climb up two flights of stairs. Uh, no, no, climb down, climb down two, two flights down. of stairs. Uh, oh, walk Christ. like almost hundred meters. The, More than that. We, we walked to okay, the other okay. side of the school. The other side of the school. Walk up. walk up two flights of steps, oh. and we had to repeat that for about three three hours. And yeah, we took breaks in between, but it's really, really, really. And the things we're carrying are about what uh, three to four they were kilograms. The same as maybe even more. more. Yeah. Maybe even more. Yeah. Like, like uh, this big, we can show you pictures. Like oh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we did it that for the 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 next 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 two days two three days and then um and we yeah and then we yeah we help with um decorating uh making decorations for the new coconut club and for the classrooms like we cut out alphabets and we uh cut out coconut trees and it was really cool because we got to design the stuff that we wanted to put up in the classrooms and I think they were really impressed with our artistic talent. Oh yeah, HL yeah. yeah. art. <laughs> and then we also cleaned the stuff for them and they took out like, um, what do you call it, tape and things because the shelves are like full of all this double sided oh. tape and stuff. So we kind of cleaned them so they look clean I guess. Yeah, I guess it was good because um, we could really see like it was so humbling <laughs> that um, like you can see that they're really grateful for our help and even though they're asking us to do all these things at the same time they're just kind of like seeing like whatever is good for us as well and of course we want to help them but um, it's just nice to know that they're really grateful because they have so little in comparison to us and they take these donations and like donations whether it be like the stuff that we brought from Singapore or yeah. like our time and our efforts they they really appreciate it because well I don't know. They're just less fortunate. And, yeah. and I think it also helps us to appreciate what we have in Singapore because they have less than like they have barely any of the facilities we have in school, like a pool and gym and stuff. Aircon, yeah. Things we take for granted, like aircon, um, windows even. Yeah, yeah there are a lot yeah. of smashed up windows. Windows yeah. barely can open. Yeah, yeah you open like, they're rusted, so you can't open the windows, and yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and they, and then, like they have different um, blocks, school blocks, but then they're only connected by a bridge on the second floor. Yeah. So yeah. that that's why we had to climb down two flights of steps and then walk to the other building and climb up two flights of steps. And they couldn't really uh, afford the manpower to yeah. that they needed. Yeah, to like help them move all the things. Like mostly teachers, that are volunteers, have to um, help them lift it, and yeah. it's quite. I mean, it's a really taxing job, so... I guess one of the nice things about the school is that you just need a beach, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but the tsunami! <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, and another good thing is that it will be on the Facebook page of Book has been good to us. Yeah, so overall, it was, I think even though it was a difficult experience at times, it was very humbling, a it very was, nice... I think a worthwhile experience yeah. to help mm -hmm. them out. Right, um, what's the next activity? Um, Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Oh, the most challenging one. Alright, yeah. um, Muay Thai, we went to this gym called Pak Tong Boxing Stadium. It's for, it was about 5-10 minutes ride from our hotel, I think. 
you know, it is yeah. somewhere there. And yeah, um, we started off by skipping. Uh, and for 15. For what, Jack? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll check. 15, yeah, we had to skip for 15 minutes just to yeah. warm up. Okay, you, you might think skipping is really easy, but this one, like, the, 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 the skipping ropes are like at least a kg or two, okay? It, they make a thick, thick rope, so it's really painful when you skip. And <laughs> Not one kg, that's crazy! No, that is crazy. It, yeah, it, it is like crazy. It was like a kilo or two. Oh dear. Yeah, so and imagine like, skipping yeah. with that rope for it's like what, thick. 15 minutes? And then, and then when you get caught, when, you, when, it's it, so hit, yeah, when it hits your toes, yeah, your toes are basically they are bruised and really painful. And so that is just warm up. It's just warm up, yeah, you can see how brutal it is. Yeah, yeah um, and then we... Yep, it's recording. Okay, sorry, um, the memory card. Okay, you don't need to! Oh. Oh. We're going to talk about Muay Thai now. No, the, the thing is different. I, I can't get it perfectly, you know. Okay, we're starting with Muay Thai now. Okay, Muay Thai again. Yeah, so, um... We went to Patong Boxing Stadium. We skipped for 15 minutes with this one kg thing. Skipping rope. Skip, skip, it was rope. really tiring. You have to do it. No, no, we have to explain this again. It's fine. Shh. Okay, anyway, then um, we got personal trainers. And we learned different moves. For example... Okay. Oh. From that, you might not want to kick, kick, start kicking because you kick the guy in the ball. <laughs> oh, can we show that? Yeah, yeah it's an experience and Oh, that did too. Okay, you don't have to include other, other groups. Yeah, gosh. Anyway, yeah, we learned how to kick um, in different ways, punch, um, basically injure. I can now defend myself. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What um, did people find tiring? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> the cool down where you have to do sit up. And oh yeah. That was oh, that was a cool down. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he asked cool me down. if I was tired. Then I was like, yeah. And he went, ten push ups. I was like, why? I've never done a push up in my life. It was really bad. Really, really bad. And the trainers can do what? Uh, Fifty sit ups. Yeah, I made my do. That's just crazy. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I we did for a couple of days. It's really tiring. Oh yeah, two hundred kicks in like the span of less than ten minutes we had to do. Yeah, I hate I hated it when they yeah, asked us to do a, a kicking like consecutively because it's really tiring. Oh yeah, it's my favorite move. He kept grabbing my leg and. Oh yeah, and some of us. And your ankle has to be like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you're supposed to kick with the shin instead of the foot. And the and like yeah, yeah, all right. So yeah, yeah my guy kept correcting me of my foot, my steps because.